But yeah, let me know what you got doing Sephora's doing Sephora's spring saving event. Baby, I, I want this. I want this to last forever. Hey friend, hey, it's Brittany Chanel back with another Sephora unboxing. Y'all, fun fact, all the stuff in this box is stuff I've been waiting to buy for cheap, okay? Because some things at Sephora can be a little bit expensive, a touch out of my price range. I don't know about you. So I am a rogue. I don't know if it's rogue or rude. Comment down below, below the phonetic pronunciation of that. But anyway, the phonetic spelling. That way I know how to... Like, comment, subscribe, girl, and let's get into this. Okay, so like I was saying, this is stuff that I've been wanting to buy, but not wanting to spend that much money on it. So, we're going to see what we got. So, first out of the box, we have the NARS. I don't even know which one this is. Complete foundation. What? Which one is this? I don't know. Wait, I'll just be buying stuff in the shade Carcasses. Carcasses. Oh, this is the soft matte. Why does it not say that on the bottle? Anyway... I have this in Cadiz, which I feel like it's a touch too light. That's the shade that I normally wear in ours is Cadiz. But I wanted to try the next shade up, which is this Carcasses, Carbacoss, Carbacoss, y'all know. So that retails, of course, for $49. Uh, I got finally got the ABH Brow Feeds. I like to have tons of brow products, so I couldn't justify spending like $29 on a brow freeze. But I got 20% off because I'm a Rogue member, so of course I copped it. And I know this has been running rampant. I can't even get it open, y'all. This has been running rampant on, um, I don't know why I was expecting it to smell like hair gel, but it definitely does it. This has been running rampant on TikTok, though. So this little thing costs 20, where's my piece of paper at, y'all, so I don't get to lie in. Ew, it don't say the price. I'll put the price up on the screen. So I finally got this. So we'll be using this today, even though I got my brows microbladed, so we probably can't really tell. And I even got the little tool. Y'all, they charge $19 for this tool. Now, I do remember that. They charge $19 for this eyebrow tool to go with this. ABH, Anastasia, Beverly Hills. Girl, girl. So, all together, these bra products were about $50. They better give me the best, the most flawless bras I've ever seen in my life. What is this? What is this? Oh, Okay. So I got, so I saw someone say that this Sephora brow pencil was like really cool. So we're going to try that out. I think we're going to try the ABH and we'll just try this another day because yeah. And then this is the, oh, the Sephora brand stuff was also 30% off. This is a Sephora lip liner mini to go. Like Sephora, so for your purse. So I'm going to put these things, I'll just put them right here. Next up, we got the Love Killian Don't Be Shy. Y'all know I've been wearing this perfume since Auntie Jackie Ina put me on it. Um, and I wanted one for my purse, but I wasn't paying no $250 to put one in my purse. So I got the travel size one. This smells amazing. If you haven't tried it, you are missing out. Next up, I got the ABH liquid liner. The only black liquid liner that like works for me. It is the best, which I'm sure you guys have all seen it before. And I just did this just to re-up, you know, on your favorites. You got to re-up doing either the spring or the winter savings. It's just like the purple one that everybody in their mama has seen before. Before y'all, I'm country now. I'm a newly country person. That is like $19, I believe. What is this? Oh, I've been wanting to try some of these rare beauty blushes. So I got wait, focus. She said no, she's not focusing with the light. Okay, and I got the shade Joy because I believe that was the most popular one I had saw. I saw. So I'm really actually, this is probably the thing, the item that I'm most excited to try. Um, and it's very pink. It's giving white girl vibes, but we're going to try it. Um, what else I got? I got some NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer because what? We're giving luxury. Yes, I can't wait to try it. I got it in the shade Biscuits. And I don't know if this is actually the right shade. I did like a shade match online. So you never know when you do something like that. But it looks it looks like it's going to be good. I got it in the shade biscuit. Yes. Can't wait to try that. Uh, y'all, I don't know why I'm like having to close it while I'm sitting here talking to y'all. It's like giving OCD. Okay, next up I got... Oh, I am excited for this. Bitch, mama, I made it. 
I got the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. Flawless Finish, y'all. Everybody talks about this. Um, this setting powder, this finishing powder, rather. And I just feel like it's giving luxury. It's giving. It's giving luxury. Ta-da! The big reveal. Of course, I got the shade tan, which now I'm thinking I should have got a little bit deeper. This is supposed to be tan. Yeah, this is tan. I could have maybe got a bit deeper, but we got to set our face on this one. I don't care. I got all the way the wrong shade. I'm so excited by this. Also, did not want to spend $40 on this, so had to get it during spring savings. What is this, y'all? I personally don't know what this is. What is this? Why do I have three? I think Sephora made a mistake. I paid like $30 for a one size setting powder and they sent me three. So Sephora, if you don't want this bag, let me know so I can send it to two of my lucky followers. I ordered just one. I didn't order three. I never even tried it before. But everyone on TikTok saying this is now the best setting setting powder. Even better than, um, and of course I got the shade translucent. Even better than Laura Mercier. So I, I had to try because that's like my go-to every day. I can't wait to try it. Sephora, why'd you send me three though? Comment down below, Sephora. Are you checking for me like I'm checking for you? Anyway, so they sent me three of those. I'm going to put this in my little giveaway pile, the other two. Next up, I got the um, the Fenty by Rihanna Lil Bronze Duo, which looks like this. Well, I'm not showing y'all that one. I need to show y'all this. And it comes with um, the creamy, the caramel cutie, and the cinnamon. So the caramel, ah! so the caramel cutie, I believe... I don't know. Let me open it, chat. I have a whole bunch of matchsticks, but I don't have any of these colors. And these are super small. But the, oh, the cinnamon is the, what is this? Is this supposed to be like, hold your horses. Oh, this is a shimmer skin stick, which I don't have any of the shimmer ones. And not much product comes in it. That's like how much you get. But it was on sale for like $17. That's why I got it. I have a ton of like the big matchsticks, so... Cute, cute, and then I did want to try the bronzer though. It's so small though. How do y'all be working with these mini sizes? Y'all don't do y'all makeup as much as me. That's why. I can't open it. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, it's so tiny. And this is too light. Who is this gonna bronze? This is not about to bronze me. Oh, this is disappointing. I should have gotten the deep. This is not gonna bronze Britney Chanel, but it's cute. I might need to put this in my giveaway stuff. I might need to give this to my sister. Anyway, that's everything that I got. So I didn't get any eye products. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes off camera. And then I'll be back. Ow. Okay, so now I'm going into the ABH brow freeze. Like this. I, this is what I've seen the people do. And I just go like this, right? Y'all, holy does doesn't. I think it's been. Oh, yeah, it's been 14 days since I got my eyebrows microbladed. So it should be fine. And then I've seen people on TikTok take the tool and go like this right is this it is this the vibe I don't think that made a difference but I guess it's gonna freeze my brows like this okay okay was this worth $29 and $19 absolutely not okay now I'm going into that AV8 liquid liner just to create like a little wing hopefully little whenever I say little it ends up being big Okay, okay. Oh, I did get some concealer, huh? Okay, anyway, I'm gonna open up this new NAR Soft Matte in Caracas, even though I already have it an open one in Cadiz, just because we're seeing if this is a better shade or not. And y'all know this dries down super duper matte and Blending with my Makeup Revolution per usual. Oh yeah, this is much better. I don't know what it is, but the shades are different with this soft matte than all the other NARS foundation. Cause I can use Caracas and every other, I mean Cadiz and every other of the foundations, just not this one. It's just too light in this soft matte. But I do know that this does oxidize and it's gonna change and I may end up looking darker than I want to, but we're gonna see. 
we gonna see some time with you. <laughs> Just the two of us. Okay, oh, for concealer, I'm so excited about this. I have never tried this. We're gonna be using the NARS Radiant Creamy in the shade Biscuit, y'all. <laughs> and I don't even know how much to use, I don't know. It's like a very small Dofa, Dofa? Dofa applicator, whatever. It doesn't come with very much product. I guess you don't need that much. I guess you don't need that much. But yeah, that's what we're using today. I didn't put any any close to underneath my eyes, so I need to put a little bit more right there. I just feel like with concealer, they give you like the least amount possible. Like maybe this is the special occasion concealer because for how much it costs. But I really like all of NARS other products. So I just felt like I need to spend the money and buy it one time for the one time. But that's all I'm gonna put, honey, because it only come with a little bit. Well, how much does it come with while I'm sitting here talking about NARS? Whoa, I can't read that. Let's see what the box say. 0.22 ounce. So most of the time they come with half an ounce. So this comes with half the amount of a regular like concealer. Cause this Juvia's place I think is 0.5 ounces. Yeah. See the difference? Same thing with like the two Faced born this way. Whatever. Oh, wait. I didn't get a liquid bronzer today either, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the Fenty Match Stick in Espresso. Nope, that's too light for this foundation. So I'm gonna use the um, the Makeup Revolution in F18, just a smidget. And I will use the Espresso on the nose, cause I don't I don't want it too harsh on the nose. I just I didn't put that much because you know it's expensive and I didn't want to waste it. But this is very nice. It is very creamy. So it sticks, it's true to its name in that respect. It's very, very creamy. Um, it's definitely, I would need to go a shade light there if I wanted to do like any type of brightening with it. Down too far. It's looking very chocolate. It's giving chocolate. At all. Anyway, next we're gonna go into the Rare Beauty Dewy Liquid Blush in the shade Joy. Now this is a dofa that I like. This is nice and big and fluffy. And we're gonna just, ooh. It has like a peachy, well that was bad. It has like a peachy undertone to it. I definitely know I don't need a lot because I saw that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was maybe too much. I'm about to look like a clown, but it's okay. A little clown never hurt nobody. <laughs> I say the darndest things. I really do. So I'm gonna just tap some off into the top like so. Oh, it only comes out of the middle part. The O and the S is for cutesies. Okay, go in with my little triangle puff that I got off Amazon. This is very, very fine. Like this powder is very, very fine. I'm not gonna like bake or anything. Y'all know that's not my thing. But but I need some more. Hold on. It's hard to get it out of here. I don't like when stuff. Okay, that part came out a lot better. I don't like when it's hard to get the stuff out. But I find that this is very fine and it's also harder for my um my little tool to pick up. You have to be quiet! I got this fancy one which I don't think is gonna bronze me at all. It's the Caramel Cutie. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Tiny, this is not, this this is not, this is not about to bronze me, y'all. Why I play myself like this? There's just no way this is gonna bronze me. But we're gonna try it. I don't even think you'll be able to see it. I mean, I guess I do kind of see it. Okay, it's, it's giving a little bit. It's giving the girls a little bit of what they want. We'll do it for the sake of this video, of this being new stuff that I bought from Sephora. That is what this video is. But outside of that, I don't really think this will bronze me at all because it's, it's kind of light skin. Okay. So now that we have bronze, what is there left to do? I got something left right here. Oh, that's perfume. 
Oh, oh, where's the Charlotte Tilbury? This is like the star of the show. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Fall is finished. Finisher. I like to wipe away my bag with the finishing powder. This one is light, so this would be perfect for brightening. This is supposed to make me look airbrush, and I see it. I do see it. But I knew this would be worth the hype because my friend Jackie Aina told me. <laughs> my friend in my head. <laughs> I didn't get a highlighter either, huh? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get myself together and I will be back with my final thoughts on these new products, new, new to me products that I'm trying from Sephora today. Okay, so I went ahead and finished the majority of my face off camera. Now we're gonna go into the Sephora Crayon Lip Liner to go in the shade. I don't know how to answer this way. Deep beige, y'all, this might not work. Mm. We're gonna have to go really light on the lips. Why would I get a deep beige liner, y'all? Some stuff really just be user error. I'm gonna use this gloss by Minted. <laughs> and that's just gonna give me like a really nude lip. It's kind of the same shade. Typically, I will put on. Typically, I would put on a darker liner, which I'm about to do. I can't take it, y'all. I'm about to go in with Mac Chestnut because I can't take it. Okay. So I know it's not perfect because of like user error, but I definitely think it looks substantially better. So that's gonna conclude this look of new to me items from Sephora that I got doing their spring savings event. Um, at the top of my list is the um, Charlotte, Tilbury, Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Setting Powder, Mwah, amazing. I'm not all that hype on the one size. I don't know what the hype is about about that. I definitely prefer Laura Mercier. Um, what else did I get? The Fenty Bronzer, it looked like it had a nice formula, but it, it didn't really bronze me too much because I picked the wrong shade. So again, use the error. Um, the Rare Beauty Blush, two thumbs up for that. Love that, that was a great find. And for only $20, that's fairly affordable. But yeah, let me know what you got doing Sephora's, doing Sephora's spring saving event. Like, comment, subscribe. See y'all on the next one, out. Find someone like you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Waiting my whole life to find someone like you, find someone like